Morning everyone! How are you doing today? It's Rafi again with Case Suspension. And what we're going to be talking about today is the Aziz Designs shift linkage. Here you go. This thing is wicked awesome. Uh, this is the new version 7 I believe it is. Uh, let's go and take it out of the box real quick. Alright, comes with a business card. Cool sticker. That's definitely going on the rig. Instruction sheet. And here is the linkage. Very, very well put together. Beautiful uh, great engraving. Uh, got an American flag on here. This is going to be awesome. Uh, this is the Rev 7. Really, really awesome linkage. Very, very excited to put these on. Uh, I've actually been eyeballing this for a couple years now, and uh, Tevin knows my XJ needs it really, really bad. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys have the same problem where you, know, you try to shift it into four low, or try to actually go back to too high, and it, it doesn't like to move. Uh, well, factory linkages on the XJs, MJs, TJs, ZJs, uh, they're not exactly the greatest, um, but we're going to show you how to put this on today. Let's go get the Jeep. So the factory shift linkage is kind of poor, especially when you start lifting your vehicle. So your shifter right here, you know, getting it into four wheel drive. Hang on. There it goes. All right. So uh, that was probably the easiest this thing has ever done that. Um, and I'm not quite confident that it's uh, back in two wheel drive. Usually it'll go ahead and just stick into four wheel. But uh, this this is going to become smooth as butter by the time we're done. Let's get going. Go ahead and get this thing up in the air. That way it's a little bit easier to work on. Uh, obviously, if you don't have access to a lift, uh, Creeper works just as well. Uh, trust me, totally understand your pain on that. Did that for many, many years. Um, totally doable. I just like to stand. So let's get this thing up. So the shift linkage we're going to be replacing is right here. So this is the factory linkage. It's got a rod that goes through this bracket right here. And uh, it's almost like a Y-link setup to where it comes down to the transfer case itself. Looks like I got a little bit of mud up here. Gotta clean all that up. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take this entire uh, rod here out this rod that goes into this uh, bracket and uh, we're going to replace it all with the uh, Aziz linkage. So before we get to tearing everything apart I wanted to show you guys what this old linkage is all about. So this right here is your shifter lever and then it comes down to a rod and then it has this bracket and then this next rod goes all the way back to the transfer case. Uh, very inefficient so we're actually going to be deleting all this and going straight from the shifter down to the transfer case. It's going to be a much smoother action. All right, so hopefully that's enough light. I tried brightening it up down here a bit. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually to go ahead and take a pry bar or a screwdriver, and we're going to go ahead and pop these things, these uh, rods, off of the shifter linkage.
All right, so once you get the shift uh, levers off, this piece right here, uh, this goes into this mount. So these are actually bolted in from the backside, so from inside the cab. You'd have to actually uh, go ahead and remove the carpet and the center console and you can get to the four bolts holding it in. Um, I, I don't really care for it a whole lot. So we're actually going to uh, take a saw and just cut that shaft off and bring the whole thing down. Let's go ahead and get it off. I'm a Milwaukee guy. Don't let it hit your head on the way down. Holy jeez. All right. Well, there you go. That's off. Now I have to go ahead and take this shaft off of the transfer case. So to remove that linkage, there's a nut right here holding this bracket on. It's a 9 16 So I'm gonna go ahead and take that nut off to remove this bracket and everything should come off the transfer case. Love the taste of mud. All right, so there you go. That's the linkage that went on the transfer case and that's what we're gonna be replacing. So after we got all the brackets off, you want to go ahead and keep this nut that you took off from the factory mounting bracket. Uh, that's going to be reinstalled to attach the new uh, bracket from the new shift linkage. Uh, so this guy is actually going to be going up. So the uh, adjusting holes facing up. We're going to go ahead and put it on that uh, little flange there and tighten that bolt down. So once you get everything apart, before you put in the new linkage, there's a rubber grommet right here on the shifter that held the old rod in. You're gonna have to go ahead and pop that out or melt it out or however you like to get it out, but the new bolt's gonna go in there for the linkage. So we're gonna have to get that little rubber grommet out of there. That little guy. Okay, so now that we got everything apart, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the new plate to the shifter. Um, now, I took this off just for demonstration purposes. But as you can see here, there's some relief cuts. These tabs will actually suck up against that uh, bracket for the shifter, and it'll tighten down against it to hold it nice and firm. And for those of you guys with uh, five speeds or uh, TJs, uh, there's another cut. I don't know if you can see it in the video right there. It's lasered in right there. Uh, you can actually pop that tab out and push it out as a bend so that it touches the back of your plate. Uh, there's a slight design change in the uh, five speeds. So that's why that option is there. That way you can push it out so it touches that plate over there and makes it nice and tight. Uh, in this case though, we're automatic, so we're gonna leave that be. 
Um, now the way this works is you have a bolt that's going to go in the top hole and that'll hold it to your shifter and then there is a uh, another bolt on the actual linkage itself uh, with a jam nut so that you can tighten it down with your wrench. Uh, that's going to go on the bottom hole. Uh, so once we get this all hooked up, uh, we can obviously turn the turn buckles and adjust it for length as needed, but this should go on fairly smoothly. So you want to go ahead and get this bracket straight up and down. Let's see if you guys can see this. So these tabs are going to go around the actual shift lever and tighten down flat. That way you keep a nice secure connection. And again, all you need here is a 9 16th wrench two of them, tighten it down. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our turnbuckle. So this is going to go on back into that middle hole that we started with. And uh, there is a jam nut on one end so that we can tighten it up to the shift lever. Um, Let's go ahead and get this guy on. Now this turnbuckle does adjust. Uh, one side is lefty loosey, righty tidy. The other side is lefty tidy, righty loosey. So that you can adjust it as needed. And when you're adjusting this, make sure you keep it even on both sides to avoid any binding. So we're just going to go ahead and adjust this. Going to add the washer and the nut on the back of the uh, shifter. We're going to move it forward. Now I have a little bit of room. Let's go ahead and tighten them up. So again, just a 9 16th wrench on the nuts. Uh, the only one that's different is going to be on one of the uh, hold down bolts for the turnbuckle. That's going to be a half inch. Now on this front one for the actual uh, shifter, there is a jam nut. So you can tighten that down and uh, go ahead and test your linkage, see how it feels. And that way you can just loosen that up real quick, take it out, adjust the turn buckle as needed to make any minor adjustments. Um, but after you're all happy and set, tighten down that jam nut, tighten down the main nut behind it, it'll lock it in place. So now that that's all tight, Go and test it out.
shifts like butter. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down, uh, mainly that last bolt, and we should be good. Okay guys, and the end result is a nice smooth shifter. Can't ask for anything better than that. Oh, this is just glorious. I love it. Well, there you have it guys. Uh, we just got rid of this cluster of a mess of a shift linkage that was, and uh, now we got that new Azzy Design Work stuff in. So this is going in the garbage. Took care of that one. That's how you get rid of them. Uh, so please check out this product at uh, azizdesignworks.com. Uh, I also believe he does sell them on Amazon. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, he's always uh, around. Uh, Brian Azzy, great guy. Uh, very, very proud to know, this, know him. Um, he actually went ahead and uh, sent us this uh, along with our uh, Christmas packages that we were giving away uh, over our eight crazy days of giveaways. Um, and it's taken a little a little while to get it all installed, but I'm glad we finally got around to it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or uh, any other videos you'd like to see, again, feel free to shoot us a message, email, phone call, whatever it is that you'd like. Uh, be happy to get it on the books for you and hopefully get it rolling. Uh, otherwise, I hope, I hope that this video was helpful for you and uh, you guys can get your shift linkages in a little easier now and uh, get into four wheel and back to two wheel a little bit smoother. Uh, don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. Uh, they are also on our website at casesuspension.com. Uh, don't forget to give our Facebook page a like at facebook.com forward slash casesuspension. And uh, make sure you check out azidesignworks.com as well. A lot of awesome stuff. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing more videos in the future. Uh, otherwise, uh, from all of us here at Case Suspension to you, happy trails.